guys, we have arrived. I'm gonna take this out. We've arrived in Italy. I look a mess because we've literally had face masks the whole journey. Um, I'm gonna show you guys our view. Well, this is the view from downstairs. So basically, I'm gonna go back. This is the view, like it literally looks horrible, but um, oh yeah, that's Positano. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole place. So we basically booked a house and yeah, I'm going to show you guys up there in a minute. It looks gorge. And this is like, there's two bedrooms. There's one up there and then there's one here. And those stairs lead up to the second bedroom. It looks really nice. Oh, this is my fit. Um, I didn't really like go crazy with my fit. I just love an all black when I'm traveling. This is the bathroom. Um, it's not very luxurious. Um, luxury is not in this hotel. <laughs> the place looks amazing. So this is how it is coming up. <gasps> Look! Oh my goodness! Look how stunning it is. <sighs> Oh, we're just gonna be blinded by the sun, but <laughs> oh. um, it's not actually really hot. It's maybe how many degrees? I'm gonna bring up the weather. Uh, da -da -da. Oh my god, guys! I'm getting like nothing. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm getting nothing. Um, I don't know. It feels like ten degrees. <laughs> feels like like it's not hot I was expecting it to be like really hot not wearing my um, <laughs> turtleneck um, but yeah I'm just excited to be here it is obviously hotter than England right now um, we're just gonna get dressed get changed we didn't even like properly eat so we're gonna get something to eat and just explore they've already told us like these um, a nice restaurant up there which we'll explore at some point this is like my hair I always get asked like how long is my hair um, like my natural hair well my hair is currently relaxed so I mean it's the only way I could have it manageable but I'm also trying not to relax my hair so um yeah for this holiday i'm very supernatural i carried this bottle this bottle i got from leicester from like a little shop called beauty queens if you guys are from leicester you would know that shop but you can buy from amazon or anywhere it's just i didn't have a shower i mean yeah because i'm in such a hurry but um i always just carry this bottle to wet my hair and to get it in a like um, a damp state so that I can be able to sleek my hair back. I'm using this Tango Teaser brush. This is an amazing brush if you are have like curly hair. Um, the bristles, sorry about my hair, but the bristles enables you to like glide through the hair easily and I just love it. I wish I discovered it before but I was actually, I actually clubbed with the brand and I was like, why didn't I know about you guys before? Because honestly, I love this brush so much. I'm just going to take this towel. I forgot my, my hair towel. It's a little bit more silkier than usual towel and I forgot to pack it. So I'm going to just use this hotel towel. It is cotton, which I don't like, but I have no other choice but to use this guys we are in michelin star Yeah, 
That black thing is guanilla seeds, huh? Vanilla. <laughs> no, this is the best. Mm. What is it? Mussels. This is in pepata di cotta. Bread. Pepata is with the olive oil. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Chili oil. <laughs> Uh, half cooked. <laughs> olive from Gaeta, olive from Campania, and truffle cheese. <laughs> truffle cheese that's gone. <laughs> Oysters. Oysters. So that's half eaten. <laughs> from uh, from Canaria. <laughs> Canaria. Nice. I can't wait for what you're cooking here. Oh, oh, we got it. This is half of the sauce. Oh. We're waiting for the rest. Which is inside the uh, nice clump. <laughs> Again! <laughs> <Oy. laughs> the chef is shopping. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> mm. oh, it is um, New Year's Eve. This is my outfit for New Year's Eve. I'm wearing this matching set. I think you guys are are sick and tired of this outfit but i love it so much i have been drinking we are on the wine um this new year's i think we've gone through two bottles already we do have some friends over we are um celebrating with them they have joined us which is really nice um but yeah we've been cooking for literally hours 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 right now and i'm just excited to eat i am waiting to eat Hence why I'm in the bathroom and I'm vlogging. Guys, I'm hungry. I'm having oysters. <laughs> ah, wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean. Woo! Woo! I definitely look British recording here. Bufala mozzarella, ham, salame. Amazing. Guys, we have all this food. 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 What is this? Gnocchi? Gnocchi? Gnocchi with lasagna? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Orecchiette. Orecchiette. And Orecchiette. Something else. And something else. <laughs> and pasta and parmesan cheese. Oh. And we are full. Oh my god. Looking at the food. We love food. <laughs> I mean, I don't like this fat bit. No, no. Look at the fat that you removed. Mm. Mm. Good, eh? <laughs> she wants me to. She, <laughs> looking at she, you, she, you know, no, no. Look how it turned yeah, its that. back, like. Yeah. <laughs> Chicho. Un <laughs> pasacho. <laughs> oh look. <laughs> You see the eyes, they're like, is that it? <laughs> the villa is a large house on the city wall out of the city. Hi guys, so um, we are back in the UK. Um, it's been literally five days. Um, I wanted to take you guys, I've just come back from an eyebrow appointment. I wanted to take you guys with me, but I was so shy to take my camera. And I was also so shy to, I never like going to a place and being like, yeah, I'm an influencer. Like, 
I don't like doing that. I like to go there and experience something for the first time. Like a normal person, I feel like they treat you differently when they know that you're an influencer. So I didn't really want to take you guys along. Um, but I did um, record when I was there. The place is Sapphire um, Clapham. It's really nice. I know a lot of influencers. Well, not a lot. I know two um, girls like my friend Sophie and Kate Hutchins, I always watch her videos. She, They went there and I have been looking at going and getting my eyebrows done. As you guys can see, I have basically like already got them done. So this is how they look like. They are pretty blocky at the moment, but um, I am loving the shape of them. So I will let you guys obviously know how it all goes on and um, how everything gets on in a couple of days. If you're following me on Instagram, I'll probably update you guys um, on story. So obviously I am back in England. Um, we were meant to be back um, like yesterday on Sunday, but we came back super early. We came back on the 4th. Um, today is the 10th. Um, and I'm just gonna make this part of the video like really short um, because the whole experience in Italy was not an amazing experience for us, for me personally, for my boyfriend personally. Um, hence why we shortened our trip and we came back early. I have tried to record this segment of the video, um, but each time it's like 10 minutes long and I don't wanna sit here and you know, be negative for 10 minutes so um yeah we went to positano positano was amazing um and also i'm sorry that this video is literally all over the place um but coming back i've literally i just took some time off and there's been so much has been going on that i haven't been in the right mindset in the right space everything is just basically took a toll on me um the holiday the um apartment the house that we got um just a quick rundown um the place like when we first went in there they were showing us around um and one thing that i picked up on it was like he was like if you want hot water you have to basically turn the tap on in the kitchen to get hot water in the bathroom for either to wash your face or to shower and i found that quite bizarre because we paid we paid a lot of money. I don't like talking about money, but we paid a grand for this ho for this house. So uh, the whole thing was just shambles. Um, so the first day I tried to like have a shower. Obviously after, no, actually the next day after he like showed us around, um, I tried to have a shower and, um, oh my God, there's someone going around. <laughs> I tried to have a shower and um, I literally did what he said. I mean, even though I find it so bizarre, I'm like, I need to have a shower. So I turned the tap on in the kitchen. The hot water is running in the bathroom. I close the kitchen tap. I go in the shower and tell me why I'm sitting there with my butt naked um, with soap all over my body and the, the water is cold. Like, water is cold. I was there shivering my ass. Um, so yeah, that was the first experience. The first two nights, the place was cold. Like you guys have seen the high ceiling of the place. It takes, it takes long to heat up, but at the same time, there was like two ventilators or heater things. Um, and they were not blowing hot, hot air. They took like two days for it to like warm up the whole place, which I found really bizarre. And I think the guy knew um, because we had he gave us like a portable heater, and that's what we were basically living on this whole time. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just terrible. New Year's was amazing with our friends, but um, every time we turned the cooker on, and the the cooker and the oven, the whole place literally just shut. Like it just went off. Like went off completely and that happened about 10 times um so yeah and and being in italy like right now i mean i wouldn't recommend going there in the in the winter because obviously we went there in the winter 
um, it would have been better to go in the summer. I've saved Positano for like so long. I've always wanted to go there. I was so excited to go there. And if you guys saw what I packed, it's literally ridiculous. I packed summer clothes because I thought it was going to be hotter than here. They were saying like it's like 15 degrees and it wasn't. Like it was like England, just a little bit warmer. So I didn't need to like wear um, my jacket. And obviously you guys have literally seen me with no makeup, with the same freaking hoodie and same outfit because that's the only thing I could wear. Um, and the other thing is like Positano at the moment is closed. Like it's closed not just for the, not just for, for the restrictions, but it's closed for the summer. And it was just for me, it was like, okay, like coming from London, you're like, what the heck like you're closed for the summer like I don't get it I literally did not understand and then um I also didn't understand like they t um the they have lunch for like four three hours and yeah so anyways I'm gonna stop it here because um I don't want to be negative um and obviously even after this whole holiday we came back it just kind of like took a toll on me and I don't want to be negative really don't want to be negative um I've been just trying to like spend time with some friends and just calm down um there is also a lot of things going on in my personal life that I'm just like you know um trying to deal with as well so everything has just literally been like too much like this break was meant to be like a break for me like because I've been working literally non-stop for I don't know how long I was like okay I'm gonna take a break over Christmas and it wasn't a break like now I need a holiday after my holiday and it's just yeah I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop it here now um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't know if I gave you guys what you needed <laughs> I hope the next vlog or next holiday um will be a lot better and you guys will get a lot more from it um if you did enjoy this vlog and you do love my channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. And yeah, I do have a couple of videos coming up for you guys. So I'll see you guys on my next video.